Right, it is ten past six on Thursday, the 2nd of June 2022, which means it is the Queen, our dear Queen's official birthday. It is the first day of her four day Jubilee 70th anniversary of being on the throne, Jubilee, Platinum Jubilee weekend. Uh, we have a small wedding to cut, a regular flower delivery to cut because it may be a bank holiday and it may be 10 past six in the evening, but we don't care. We still have work to do. Uh, but we also have a party in two great big old army mar marquees on the recreation ground in the village. And so I'm going to cut some flowers for that. And I thought you might come along for the ride. The colours for the wedding are lilac, white and blue with anything else that's nice to go with it. Okay, uh, obviously the Jubilee, we're in um, UK, so we are national colours, red, white and blue. So we might do a little of that. And I don't think my regular orders will mind if there's a sort of reddish, whitish, bluish look. So I think that's what we're gonna go for as we cut. I have got eight full, clean buckets full of water not full of flowers yet and let's get cutting come along for the ride if you enjoy these clips please do subscribe to the channel you can press the bell icon and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up and if any of the tips and tricks i give you as we go along are useful you can always buy me a coffee and the link is in the blurb to all my clips right let's go <laughs> look i think we'll start with the purple there can you see that that is a uh, sweet rocket we're going to start there. And yes, I have had a tactical hair wash and a shower. And this is my clean shirt for the weekend. It's Thursday evening. So the shirt can do Friday, Saturday, possibly not Sunday. It depends on the weather for the party. But tactical timings for hair washing and bathing when you're still cutting at 10 past six in the evening and you've got to take your kids to the lighting of the beacons for the Jubilee which happens at sort of half past nine, 10 o'clock at night. So mm, yes, clean hair time. I cut in fifties because then it's quicker and I know how many I've got. There we are, four buckets from this patch. Let's keep moving. And it's 10 past seven, we have 400 stems. I'm just gonna whip up the field and uh, get some roses and some alcamilla. Right, that's 600 stems and they can just sit there and have a nice drink overnight. I am going to go and see the beacons being lit at Cabri Castle where King Arthur lived. They're playing the bells, they're ringing the bells for the queen. This is where King Arthur lived. And this is where we're going to climb a hill and light the beacon for the Platinum Jubilee. <laughs> Nearly at the top, you see Glastonbury Tour in the distance. <laughs> yes, I'm out of breath. So it's Friday morning and the first lot of flowers is this lovely jug, very patriotic colours for number one Bruton in our little fashionable town, fashionable Bruton next door. Uh, it's going to clash rather with the drawing room, but there you go. It is not the Queen's Jubilee every day of the year. And then we have three mixed buckets with a compost bucket behind. Goodness, the ugliness and the untidiness. Uh, you can tell I do this for a real job. <laughs> 
by the fact the floor's all covered with rubbish and uh, I have to, uh, yes, anyway, enough of this. So this is a mixed buckets for a wedding. Lovely girl getting married at the Longhouse in Bruton and she wanted blues, lilacs and whites. I think we've hit the brief. This is the recreation ground and some of these tents are from 1944. Um, that is just a walk through. This is gonna be the kitchen tent. Is the recreation ground where even the swings have bunting and where we are going to have our party for the Queen's Jubilee and I'm thinking of doing some flowers so question is what shall I do well I think first of all either side of the feet of the pub immediately that's the pub that tent there and then this is an interesting Thing. These tents are some parts of them as old as the Second World War. I'll find the bit that says made in 1944 or somewhere. And this is really good for marquee tips. It's quite dark in here. Whatever I put on these poles uh, will have to be light, otherwise, people won't see them. However, look. They have got, and if I roll my thing up here, I can see whether it goes all the way through. I think, yeah, look, hurrah. So, <laughs> these lovely old poles. What I'm going to do is rather than put flowers on the tables, I'm going to hang flowers from the poles because you can see there's not going to be very much room. By the time you've got 280 old people sitting in these marquees, they uh, are going to fill the space up and we've got plates and knives and forks and everybody, hopefully people are bringing jam jars. So I'm going to hang buckets of flowers from the marquee and they've got to go up a little bit, otherwise they'll hit people on the head. Um, and I can't do one for every pole, but I could do two or three for each of the two tents. And I will make them so there's plenty of white in the flowers so that you see them against the dark of the marquee. It's really worth thinking if you're doing a party uh, and it's going to go on into the evening. Ours isn't particularly, but if yours were going to and you were thinking you would hang foliage or flowers from underneath the marquee and you have any colour other than white, personally... I would say either keep it very light and if the evening's party's going to be in the evening do sparkly lights instead of flowers or foliage it won't show but this is a lunch party so um i am going to do buckets of flowers and they will show for the lunch party and look i can hang the buckets through there look at that made in 1952 the year the queen became queen of england this bit of the tent is as old as the coronation. And of course, you can see the sparkles. It is softly raining because it is June and we're in England and it's a Jubilee event. What else would you expect? Petrichor, the scent of rain on dry ground. This section was made at the end of the Second World War. So, as is often the case when I'm doing the flowers for me, <laughs> or the client is me, these are, well, they're for the village, but I can do what I like because they're for the village and it's not a paid gig. Um, so I've made a matching pair of buckets and the contents are white peonies, mint, Alcamilla Mollis, red, uh, sweet William, wild fennel, uh, um, allium seed head, developing allium seed heads. There's some blue, so it's all red, white, and blue. 
blue of the nigella and ami majors white lavatera here that lovely trumpet shape and a bit of wild with the um sorrel this is the lovely sorrel seed heads and i might add a bit of grass and the big leaves at the back are cardoons so it's really simple not enormous number of ingredients but i'm very pleased the the big cardoon leaves are very useful i have to say um to make a kind of base shape for everything to stand on the buckets don't match because my collection of zinc buckets seems to have been <laughs> spread around the county but now i'm going to make matching little buckets to hang from the marquee poles and these little pretties are to hang from the marquee poles i hope there's enough white in them to make them show up against the dark green of the tent uh, fabric right sunday morning it's time to load no time for microphones i'm sorry about all of that but i'm going to show you a top tip for more top tips on floristry and how you can do really good beautiful flowers uh join me on all of my workshops and demos which are coming up all the way through the summer so have a look at the website and you can book yourself a place if you're far away in america or australia or new zealand and the timings are inconvenient we send recordings to everybody uh, so that people can join in whenever it is easy for them. Right, watch this. <laughs> I'm going to get the big arrangements and as if by magic, they're going to be carried from the inside because they are in fact buckets and I kept the help kept the handles up so I can carry them easily there you go <laughs> top tip number one I know I know I make really really thrilling films you'll see that again one more here it comes I'm wearing wellies because, of course, we had a great big enormous storm last night. Because it is June in England and a jubilee weekend. So it's important that we have lots and lots of rain. Onwards and upwards. And everything else, as usual, in Bailam trays. I'm filming himself. Here comes camera shy Fabrizio. He's here hiding. Anyway, Bailam trays going over there now. Another top tip. Make sure you bring them straight back or they get confused and end up being delivered back to somebody else. And Bailam trays are precious. So whatever you do, keep them. Don't forget the ladder. lighter than they look. <laughs> this is all about making it look good of course. It does help if you have shoulders like a prize bull, even if you're an elegant lady of five foot two. <laughs> right, and one goes. Voila. Right, let's get on. Can you come a bit closer? Because they can't hear because I'm not wearing my microphone. So, we're all done. It's 9.30. I'm now going to nip home for a tactical bath. Uh, as you remember at the beginning of this film, I talked about the tactical hair. Uh, but a few steamy days later, and I smell horrible. For Rich, who's yawning, because he thinks it's really boring, but I know that you find this amusing. Um, let me just quickly show you around, and then off we go. Thank you very much, Richie. You can press stop.
little jugs to frame the cake when it comes, where there will be a loyal toast and we'll sing the national anthem. And there's an amazing cake. The big buckets are there to frame the marquee where the bar is, always very important in um, English country things. Where's the beer? Posey's ready to dot down the tables. The rest of the people from the village, 300 people from the village also bringing posies, but these are just in case there are any gaps. Very pleased with the buckets hanging up. We've got them all the way down. I'm gonna go around so you can see. They've worked really well. They're sweet, aren't they? 30 some challenges put in buckets. And yes, we are all feeling very, very patriotic this weekend. Right, time to go home, get ready to have a party. <laughs> One final top tip. If you're doing flowers that are gonna go on grass, which is possibly uneven, have wide bottomed heavy containers and then they won't fall over. You're welcome. And then people brought extra posies, you see? And we're yes. just putting it all out, ready to go. You know it's a good party when there's plenty of noise. And I think we're going to be okay for trifle. Yeah. Look at that.